What's going on YouTube? My name is Cool Ninja Guy. Today I'm showing you guys the offset tutorial which you had just seen. Um, what you need is you need two clips. Uh, they can be what they do is you have back to back and you want to make the transition so make no transition at all so you tap through it just goes right to the next one so what you want to do create a marker where the clips were split and then you're going to want to head left and right in a direction for whichever um for however many frames you want i go 35 to each direction that's a good amount so we're going to want to head to 35 to the right so one two three four five so that's 30 uh frames that right, is 620 i have it on a Nice even number like 515. So that's that. Name this marker end. And go back to the middle. So to the right 35 frames. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 30 frames is 4, 10. Go ahead over there. Mark this dark. You don't need to name it, but I just find it a lot easier. I zoom in on your um, audio a little bit. And uh, um, now what you're going to want to do is you want to split your clip here. And, oh crap, I split the audio. Um, what you're going to want to do is select your clip, split it at each marker. So now you have these two clips in the middle. What you want to do is select just that part. File, render as. Render, I'm going to render some clips. Edit, offset tutorial, render it out. And I will be back. Actually, no, no, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay here while it's rendered. Quick render. So this is a very nice effect you can use in montages. I've used this. In um, the OCE I did for Bolo Extreme, and I also use this in a Can't Utilize Me episode 3. It's a, it's a pretty nice um, effect that you can use in, um, I know you can do this in After Effects, but I prefer to do it here. So once you have that, hit um, find an open in folder or whatever. Now you're going to have this little 30 second clip. Delete these two things you just rendered out, and drag that on there. Boom. So now you have this in the middle. It's the same thing you just had, it'll have the audio if you run the audio, just hit U to separate the audio and delete it. So now it's the same clip, you play it through. But now what you do, uh, go to video effects, scroll down to TV simulator, reset to none, drag it on there. This is what it creates the actual effect. Hit animate, make sure um, sync cursor immediate timeline checks, otherwise it doesn't jump with your cursor. So click that and it goes with your cursor. So, um, Click on your middle marker, make sure you'll have it none. Drag your vertical sync down, you'll see it goes, you know, in a weird uh, looking thing. I like it at point 0.1, but you can, uh, it's all personal preference. Then you go back to the end of your clip, drag this back up to 1. So what this does, if you uh, play it through, I'm going to get rid of the audio real quick. Um, yeah, just a little easier. And then you play it through, you see it goes loop, and it like, looks like it jumps through the clip. So since it's keyframe, the um, it starts at zero, it goes down, and then goes back up. Um, that's not the actual effect though, you're going to want to add a little bit of blur to help this effect. So scroll to the linear blur, drag on the vertical light, drag it on there. On there. Uh, you're going to want to hit the clock button, amount for animate. Um, make a, because you want it to be at 0.5 in the middle, so if you click on that cursor, it'll be fine. Click it in your start marker or the beginning of the split clip. Drag it down to zero so there's none. So you see it builds up with uh, blur. Actually, I personally prefer this. Oh, that's really nice. yeah. Oh, I need to make a keyframe there. So make a keyframe there. I like this on 0.25. A little more action. No, 0.125. There we go. It's not too blurred, but it still looks very nice. And go back to the end. Drag it down to zero. Boom. So that's it, guys. That's the whole effect. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, here I'll pre-render quick, if you enjoyed this, please hit that like button below and, you know, use it in your montages and everything, so here it is again, like that, that's it, so, uh, thank you guys for watching this, um, remember to hit that subscribe button up top, like button below, and see you guys later, adios!